Hello everyone! I was planning on doing just the story of the orc heritage armor questline, but they've done such a good job with it that it would just be a shame not to see it all in its full glory. For those who don't have a lot of time though, I'll give you a quick rundown of the story at the start, and then I'll show you my full playthrough. That way, everybody wins. So in essence, what goes on is that the orcs are feeling a little bit lonely. They feel a little bit lost with their identity. Etric especially, he can notice his around him, and who can blame them? A lot has happened since the original formation of the Horde, after all. The corrupted one that was reformed by Thrall, and then his identity, it flowed a little bit with whoever was in charge, from the more hostile Garrosh to, well, let's not talk about Vol'jin, shall we, to then have to follow Sylvanas Windrunner in her bid for power. These days, the Horde is ruled by a council, all the different races having their voices heard, but it does leave the question, what about the orcs? What about with those where it all began? Turns out that it's party time with a good old Kosh Ark festival, a gathering of the clans, which soon enough turns into a new rite of passage. Thrall being Thrall thinks that he'll be the one leading this or be the first to go through all of it. But no, it's, it's actually Agralan that takes up the role of Farseer and we get to go through it first. Honoring the ancestors, representing a clan, earning not just a brand new set of armor, but also the respect of all those gathered. And when I say all those gathered, I mean nearly everybody. Well, I I've heard one or two names dropped by people like I would have wanted Dead Orc to show up, but there are a lot of them. Even Fura, once just locked away in the books, is now shown in game, extra scenarios included. Rexar finally had a chance to talk with his father. Nazgrim, the Death Knight, shows up. Etrick's son, Ariok, is there. They even make mention of the flower picking clan. It was just a feast of recognition and remembered storylines, which just, it made me very, very happy to go through this questline. With that, you're up to speed on the very short version of the story that goes down. Hope you'll enjoy the full playthrough, and until next time, see ya! Champion, come to Gromash Hall Found when it. you are able. I have something important to discuss. Etrick, buddy old pal, what is happening? So welcome everybody, this is the Orc Heritage Armor questline. I have not seen a single thing of it quite yet. Uh, I'm very excited. Oh! What? Oh, he's talking about Saurfang. Okay, a summit to Stay strong. Thank you for coming, we have Keep much to talk about. Sharp. It is strange, Smork. Despite the years of peace, I'm restless. Despite having a horde and my son, I'm lonely. You feel the same, don't you? I see it in your eyes and in the eyes of many orcs. I feel perhaps that, while we have found our way on Azeroth, we have lost our way as orcs. Come with me. I wish to speak with an old friend about these troubles, and I would like you by my side. Oh snap, we're gonna when talk When I think to of the ways we've lost, <gasps> I think of the Koshark. Twice each year, the clans came together, but that tradition died with Dranor. I shared my desire to see it return with Saurfang long before the Fourth War. This is no time for dead traditions, he said. Hmm, he may have been right then. Perhaps it is finally time for it to live again. Woo, we're gonna be talking to Drek for now. And he wants to reenact the Korshark Festival, okay. Yeah, why not? We've arrived in the Frostwolf Lands. Oh, sh Oh, Alteric Valley in the hands of the Horde, huh? Are we still in conflict, or...? What's happening? Oh, we're not allowed to go outside. Lothar. Everyone is excited to see Thrall, but we don't want them to crowd his family. Thrall's here?! <gasps> No. Trekthar is ahead. Uh huh. Oh God, I wanted to talk to the captain. Roll, roll. Explain Etrix's desire to bring back the Korshark. Okay, Straight woo, party time. Here. Um, I think exalted, Ren. I think level fifty and exalted, but don't quote me on that. Etrig, oh. we have come with the children to see Drekthar. Say hello, Riza. Uh. <laughs> she is still shy. Come, 
Drekthar and Thrall are inside. It is, Mark. Yep, yep. They remembered Agra and the children. What? Cool. Okay, so I want to check out what's happening here, right? But I don't want to miss any dialogue that might happen inside, so... No need to worry, young Durak. When you complete your Om Rigor, your path will reveal itself. Oh my Did god, you become a what? shaman after your Om Rigor, father? I... Did not complete the Omrigor. Then, how did you know your path? Well, he's Thrall, I, you know. Um, <laughs> oh, Agra and Etric, what brings you here? Oh my God, Durak! What? Greetings! Wow, you're amazing. Uh, Can I help? Why have you come? Greetings. Can I help? Do you know what it is like having two shaman parents? They have farsight. I can't get away with anything. <laughs> wow, you're amazing. Why have you come? Greetings. Can I help? So let me get this straight. Lily gets to be stuck as a child for all eternity. My boy Durak went from the cataclysm into now and gets a teenage orc model. Hell yeah. Why have you come? Wow. Let's go. You're amazing. Do you know what it is like having two shaman parents? They have farsight. I can't get away with anything. Cool. Let's talk again soon. Reza blushes and looks away as you approach. Hi! What's happening outside then? We got winter and spring. I'll have to look up um, I'll have to look up like Frostwolf names at some point. So the Kosh Ark Festival is like when all the clans came together. Um, the Frostwolves have a close connection to the um, you know, as the name implies, to the walls of the land. Yeah, even they were called Frostwolves back on Drenor on Azeroth, a similar thing happened. Um, Thrall and the Elements. So, once upon a time, the orcs um, were pushed on a path of using the fell by Kil Jaden and Gul'dan, right? The whole corruption of Draenor, the corruption of their people. Um, and as they embraced the fell, the Elements were like, yo, what? What? Wow, what? So, they stopped wielding the Elements, and the Elements no longer answered their call. Um, up to the point where Thrall shows up. Thrall was actually the first orc in generations to be able to harness the power of the elements, to hear their call, and, and to go on that whole path. How may I aid you? Though the valley has been relatively quiet in the last few years, we Tarn, who served alongside the Frostwolf in battle, decided to stay. Alteric Valley has become our home, and we have ever grown to prefer the colder climates. Ah. Ancestors, watch over you. Ner'zhul was misled by Kill Jade and like a chump. Mm-hmm. I mean, they don't call him the Deceiver for no reason. Okay. Awesome. Um, right. Let's go hang out with Thrall's now teenage children. <laughs> How did I make the NPC talk? Uh, clicked on them. And then I left and then they had like the farewell message. Speak your mind. It's good to see you, Smork. I hope you'll be a good friend to my children as you have to go well and myself. Well met. It is good to see you, my friends. We brought the children to meet Drakfar and the other Frostwolves. Please say hello to Durak. He's heard many, many tales of your victories. For all grins, you have a fan. Together, we are strong. Uh, Drakan and Duras, the guardians of Drakfar. And here's a boy, Drakfar. So Drakfar was plagued by visions. He saw, like, the coming of the cataclysm. He went absolutely mad. And people were like, yo, stop being so senile. But Drekfar was spot on. And he could, like, predict the coming of the cataclysm. Um, he's been in a wheelchair for quite a while now. Has also badassly rejected the Forsaken and whatever they wanted to happen. Or the Horde or what's, uh, something in that direction. Um, Greetings, young Drekfar one. Drekfar is a badass. He's been with the Horde for, 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 well, many, 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 many years. We Frostwolves haven't had many visitors. Now we have so many and all at once. My day has been blessed. What brings you an Etrick? We want to bring back the Koshark. Drag for our expression changes. Suddenly reminded of something long forgotten. I foresaw this moment long ago, Smork. Today will define the future of our people. Do an old orc a favor, hmm? 
Take my totems and place them around the room. The elements should be present for what comes next. Walk with honor. I fear that our people have lost the old ways. It has been long since old traditions were set aside. I wish to see the return of the Koshark. You are right. It has been long. Too long. Many orcs no longer feel they belong to a clan. If I may, we could offer more than just a reunion. The Omrigor tradition has never been enough in my eyes, and many did not have the chance to attempt it. I suggest a new rite of passage, one that teaches not just of the hunt, but of what it means to be an orc, an Omgora, a rite of honor, a rite for all orcs of age, including you, Goel. Yes! My friend, <laughs> yeah. I asked you here for a reason. You are everything an orc should aspire to be. An example for others to follow. Well... You should be the first to complete this new rite. I don't mean to brag, An but... honor, but one I wish to see you prove yourself worthy of. Will you accept my challenge, champion? Uh -huh. I warn you, ancient as I am, I still wield the power of the elements. I got this, man. It's not like, uh, you know... Well, to be fair, from, from my point of view right now, I'm actually fighting with you in Altric Valley. I was about to say, like, it's not been like I'm fighting you uh, since Classic in Altric Valley. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dialogue is different if you do the quest as a warlock. I have my doubts. You, fell user, are everything an orc should aspire to be. To be fair, there's a lot to be said about the identity of what it means to be a true orc. And that has been very fluid over the years. Speak, young one. All right. Spirits watch over you. Face the might of the frost wolves and the strength of the elements. Uh oh. Okay, just one teeny tiny problem. I have no idea how to play this. Uh, so this is gonna be interesting. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like this, uh, this, and this, and this. What is this? I mean, I'm not dying. That's 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 a good sign. Uh, that one. Uh huh. Click on whatever lights up. You got it. Bit of R in there. Sure, why not? After the heritage armors to Vilk. But I yeah. am not yet finished. Uh-oh. Elements, hear my call. Okay. Show me your true strength, champion. Uh feels like a little bit of cheating, Drakfar, but sure, buddy. You're doing frost shock now? Wow. Okay. Uh, can't I just interrupt him now? Nah. You no, you're gonna make me fight the. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, how about this and this and this? Feel the might of the elements. amazing. I know, right? Uh, 
You are worthy indeed. But these old bones won't make it to Kalimdor. Another will have to preside over the Kosharg. If I am to complete the right, I cannot lead the... Not you, <laughs> Agralan. Ha 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 ha. Me? Your strength speaks for itself. You are more than ready. Farseer. A title long overdue. That's right. I, I am honored. It's not always about you, Fro. Yeah. You're gonna forget about how Agra let you. Arrival. Agralan is nervous. Um, why does his spirit still... Why does his icon still look like he's a spirit? Are you dead, Drekfar? Did our little fight kill you? I'm sorry, man. I can hook you up with a nice spot in the Shadowlands, though. I got the connections for you. I know Great Madagasia has taught her everything that she will need. She will serve as both your judge and your guide. Good luck on your Umgora. May the Koshark bring our people together. Ancestors guide you. <laughs> and a heart attack. Oh, man. Mokra. It's good to see you. Good friend to my May children. May the spirits watch over you. All right, Fral. Everything has been decided then. Go with my family to Orkmar to prepare for your rites. Etric and I will gather the cleanse and meet you in the Uratar. Take my hearthstone. It will take you to the Broken Tusk. I will see you soon with the assembled cleanse. For Azeroth. Okay, bye. I get to use Fral's hearthstone again. You know how many times he's given me a hearthstone now? Twice. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it was Fultz's hearthstone the other day. Ah, oh, never mind. People just hand me hearthstones all the time. Oh, hello. Mokra! Why have you come? <laughs> Speak your mind. This was meant to be a quiet family visit with Drekfar, and perhaps a conversation with Durak about his future. Instead, we have set off a path that will affect the Orcish people as a whole. Do not misunderstand me. I think this is the best course of action. It's just surprising how quickly it all happens. I am to be Farseer. There's much for us to do. We have best get to it. May the spirits watch over you. Oh, it's not for enhancement, is it? Ah, oh, okay. The Kosharg will be held in Razor Hill. Goel and Etric are gathering the clans as we speak. We will have to part ways for now. You must begin mentally preparing yourself for the Omgurra, the Rite of Honor. It is my task to make sure it is a worthy challenge, even for you. I will call our Windriders to carry my family to the Kosharg. You may travel with them, or meet us there. My Yuki. friend, I have much to attend to before the Kosharg. If you would not mind, perhaps you could take Durak and Riza to Razor Hill. I am certain Durak has much to say to you. Huh. Mother? Mom! I will see you at the Koshark, my friend. Mom is so embarrassing, God! Come on, Durak. This is your opportunity, buddy. You get to talk to a legend that is Professor Smork. You know, I could teach you all the ways about the elements, perhaps a little bit about the fell. You could be my little ward. <laughs> yes, I am, Yuki. <laughs> A new rite of passage. Are you excited? I would be. Trekthar oh, said I'll know my path when I go through it myself. That I shouldn't worry. But I'm not stupid. Everyone expects me to be a shaman like my parents. God. What if the spirits don't call to me? What if I don't want to be a shaman? What then? Then don't be a shaman. You just be yourself, if I'm Durak. Honest, I hope that watching you complete this rite will spark something in me. Maybe you'll show me where I should go. Uh, no pressure, though. You sound like the tutorial guy from Warcraft 3. We're here. I'll watch Riza. You should go find my mother. Holy crap, it's busy. Okay. Wow. Hey, Malvarek. Malvarek, what are you doing here, buddy? Strength and honor. Couple of peons, Miss Sweets. What? Okay. What do you need? Finest herbs and Come spices, orc childs. What do you need? 
So few of us orcs have chosen a path of the mage. I'm glad to see Kasha flourishing. She was almost not given a chance. It was only through Troll's intervention that the remaining Arc Weavers were not executed for treason after the Siege of Orgrimmar. He saw potential in orcs able to wield the Arcane, an area where the Alliance and the Kirin Tor have always been dominant. He thought it would be a waste to dispose of what could be a valuable resource. However, for a grateful for his compassion and his wisdom. Zug, zug. I, like many other orcs, was disconnected from my clan when my parents were taken into the internment camps. They were Frostwolf, and they named me for the venerable mother Kesher. I know little else. I will use this opportunity to try and reconnect with my heritage. For the Horde! Huh. McGraw. The Horde's got a lot of mouths to feed, and I'm the one stuck feeding them. What can I do for you? Uh, cooking supplies... Relka I am fire. here. Hey, you're Shadow Moon. What? Ah, you are Smork, the one who will complete the right today. Most of the orcs are too afraid to approach me. I am Relka, the last Magar of the Shadow Moon clan. The others keep the distance, not wishing to converse with one in their Zul's fallen. I do not blame them. But I have not come to reclaim my clan's place at the Koshark, or to refight old wars. I have come because I have heard that there are now some amongst the orcs who listen to the songs of life and shadow. The mysteries of the cosmos are ones that the Shadow Moon have mastered. If nothing else, I wish to share my Death Clan's knowledge with the young what I can, and try to steer those who seek to use the darkness from disaster. Ooh. Oh. Roktar. Strength. Couple of rowdy grunts, pack godo, cookie supplies, fishermen, children, peons. Corporal Tika Bloodsnarl, Volgov Death Grip, Yotek, and Sergeant Yashra Bloodsnarl. They look like classic characters. Mankrik stops by the trading post. Oh, cool. I saw uh, Gammon just a moment ago. I was looking for a new weapon. Uh, is there something sneaky in here? Let me in. Speak. Mordak and I have come to represent the Burning Blade Clan. We are amongst these last living members loyal to the Hordes. We were not expecting Lanchester of the Blade to come. He is a legend among our clan. Will you, uh, introduce us? He's he's quite intimidating. Are the Horde! Council of the Black Harvest? Holy shit. It is not often that we warlocks are invited to such prestigious affairs. We are used... <laughs> To skulking in the shadows, never acknowledged for their efforts in keeping Azeroth and the Horde safe. Are we done? Cool. They even remembered the Black Harvest. What's that smell? Oh, uh, bad uh, dog! <laughs> <laughs> Proper Warcraft free characters, cool. They got everybody in here, man. What the fuck? Okay. Speak, friend. Basics of the profession. Warrior your trainer. Grunts. Bandage trainers, more children. Corona. Okay. My knives are ready. Greetings, Smork. I decided the first Kosh Ark of Azeroth was an event worthy of coming out of seclusion for. I'm intrigued that so many orcs answer the call, and that none of them are fighting each other. Not yet, anyway. Blood and thunder. Wow. Nazgrim. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nazgrim! He just casually walked up here like, Hello, I am a Death Knight now. Yes, that's right. I was robbed from my grave and my eternal peace. <laughs> what? Nothing shall stand in our way. This is quite the gathering you put together. I've not spoken to many of these orcs since the events that led to my death. But I suppose I am not the only one out of place here. And we all appear welcome. We will see if the living can let bygones be bygones. We do what the living cannot. So Kia nods curtly in your direction. She looks at you with your steely trepidation. Smark, I hope my presence here is welcome. Where have you been all this time, Shokia? After Hellscream's death, I wished to be alone, so I wondered. I took mercenary contracts where I could. Plenty of work out there for someone good with a rifle. Even fell in with a pirate for some time. But, um, truthfully... I missed Orgrimmar. I missed the Horde. The Korshark seemed like a decent opportunity to return home. Do you regret siding with Garrosh? I... She pauses, lost in thought. Her face hardens. No. No, I don't. Do you know what it's like to believe in a cause so fully that you would die for it? Only for the person you fought embodied that cause to be utterly defeated? Twice? 
I believe I was doing the right thing. The orcs deserved a better future. And Hellscreen believed he was leading us to it. He was not simply using us for his own gains. He was not simply using us for this own gains. Okay. But it came at a cost to the rest of the horde. She has no rebuke for that. She skulls. Fine, fine. You're right. I do not know his glorious future required the sacrifice of every other race, including my friends. I did not know he would allow an old god to corrupt both the orcs and himself. By then, it was too late. And I was in too deep to be wrong. It doesn't matter. It's all over now. Zela's dead. Hellscream's dead. General Nazgrim was dead. <laughs> I don't expect for it all to just be forgotten and forgiven. I just want the horde back. The Korshark is for all orcs to come together. And that includes me. Hey, yo, this is great. I aim to serve, and I never miss. Rowdy Warlocks, Rowdy Grunts. Captain Shatterskull and Kadrak Tura. What? Tura has a model? Everybody pulls their weight. It is an honor to finally meet you. I am Tura of the Blackrock Clan. What? I will take this opportunity to speak with Etric and his son. It's been far too many years since I've been them. I've seen them. I do not remember Ariok being so large. Is that the extra scenarios on your back? What the actual fuck? What? Hello, Ariok. You, uh, you still have your brain? Howdy, Seda. <clears throat> Howdy, everybody. Uh, I hope it was not a mistake that I came. I wanted to support my father's dream to restore the Koshark. But everyone here is staring at me. Okay, so Fuda. Fuda is a character purely for the books. Fuda is used in one story and one story only. Which is... Oh god, was it Storm Rage? I'm hoping it was Storm Rage. It is the one in which Malfurion is trapped in the Nightmare. And he manipulates Fura into using the Axis Scenarius to cut down his bonds. Like Xavius the Nightmare Lord, that you might remember from Legion. At that point in time, he's got Malfurion in his clutches. And Malfurion uses Nightmares to lure Fura into the dream and take care of business. Fura's history is that once upon a time... Um, there was the War of the Ancients trilogy, right? The books, the, the War of the Ancients. And in that storyline, we read about how Nosdormu is trapped by the old gods and he needs help. So he sends out a time tornado and he sucks in uh, Coriolstras and Ronin and accidentally sucks in Broxigar as well. Broxigar is, I believe, related to uh, Saurfang. Um, brothers, I think. Either way, he's, he's a badass, right? And in the storyline... Uh, Broxigar meets Scenarius. Scenarius, together with the aid of Malfurion, creates this magical weapon for him, the X of Scenarius, right? And with it, Broxigar is the one mortal, although there might be some documents in Legion that hints at, but whatever, one mortal that stands up against Sargeras and actually inflicts a wound upon the Madden Titan, like the actual Sargeras, not an avatar, not some weird-ass thing that accidentally showed up, no, the actual Sargeras himself... The one that humped the planet at the end of Legion, Broxigar cut Sargeras, giving Azeroth the time to close the portal. And ultimately, Broxigar sacrificed himself, this little graveyard you could find on Argus in Legion, and the extra scenarios returned into Ronin's hands. So Ronin looked at Nosdormu and was like, yo, I saved the timeline, let me take this weapon with me. Nosdormu was like, fine, take the weapon with you. Cody Alstras then dis uh, disguised himself as like this old orc shaman, showed up at Thrall's place, and was like, Ah, oh, Shaman, you must sing the songs of Bruxigar, for Bruxigar is, ah, oh, amazing! And here's his weapon. So Thrall decided to give the weapon to Fura. Fura was then used by Malfurion in order to, like, slice him free and all that. And then we got, like, the Legion expansion, right? And we were speculating about, oh, cool, what kind of artifacts could they use, what could show up in the game. And one of the suggestions, which I thought was really cool, was the extra scenarios, like bringing Fura into the game, Give that extra scenarios to warriors would be a magical, epic artifact for uh, the warriors. Um, and sadly, that did not happen. Um, this is the first time we actually see Fura in the game, uh, which is kind of cool. I want to tweet this real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, sorry. Um, what happened to you? During our incursion into Tanan jungle to defeat the Iron Horde, I interrupted the Bleeding Hollow's blood magic ritual, stealing its power for myself. It granted me great strength, but at the cost of this hulking, aberrant form. I have avoided contact with most of the Horde since. So far, my father and I have found no cure, but we have not yet tried asking the Bleeding Hollow for help. Your in dead eyes attended a Koshark. Yes? Is he? <laughs> oh? Wow. So, this is Azeroth, and this is the new horde, hmm? The orcs have made a decent home for themselves. It appears there's even room for us half breeze at this new Koshark. A Sigrona and the Maknafal. I hope Blackhand is rolling in his grave. <laughs> oh, is Rexar here as well? Everybody is invited! Speak, friend. I wish Duras was here to see this. So many orcs from all over together. Though I wonder if he would have avoided his former clan. The least I can do is to inform them of his passing. Oh, come on, man. This is the little side story on uh, the Dragon Isles, by the way, with the old Dragoma orc that dies with the dragons. May your yeah. blades never die. Greetings. Rhaegar. Ah, the orc of the hour, Trumka Farseer. The spirits tell me you are certain to succeed in your Umgura today. I know they speak true, for you have proven your might to the Earth Ring time and time again. No one fights alone. Mancrix here as well. It is good to see Agalon join the ranks of the Farseer. She is more than proven herself. I look forward to seeing young Durax grow as a shaman. He comes from a powerful stock, that one. Uh, you don't know if he will be a shaman. Sub -sug. Being here among friends, a real community gathering with Maka at my side. This feels good. For a long time, I didn't know if I would ever feel good again. Go with honor. Look tar, Smork. Thank you for the part that you played in bringing the orcs together like this. Go forth to victory. I do hope the Dragomar can find a true place within the Horde after all these years. There's been more than enough strife between the orcs. May it finally be done. McGraw. I was also looking at like what's standing next to Mancrick. Mm. What do you need? What do you need? In the spirit of fellowship amongst the orcs, Artesh and I have been extended an invitation to join the Earth Ring by the new Farseer Akralan. So the Frost Wolf Outland say, but all prejudices are not so easily put down among the orcs of Azeroth. I will spend time scrying the outcomes before we decide. Despite our personal feelings, we must do what the spirits will. Glory to the Horde. Go with honor. Damn. How many named orcs do you want? All of them. Oh, oh. I cannot believe that Fro would extend an olive branch to the Dragomar like this. After our years in the Dark Horde and Warlord Zela commanding our forces under Hellscream, this must be some sort of trick. Be safe. Look, Tar. But the honest Arrow. question is, where is the mushroom vendor? Yeah. Is the mushroom vendor invited? Strength and honor. Strength. Go forth to victory. Demon trainer. Serves on the warlocks. Okay. Yeah. Yo, this is kind of awesome. Must admit. Um, I'm honestly pondering, is there an orc that we're missing? If you were, say, Garrus' spirit, <laughs> imagine like a little dust pile in a corner somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we went into the Shadowlands we brought him with. <laughs> Speak, friend. I would rather be leading these orcs in the field of battle instead of rubbing elbows at some party. For the horde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go into the insides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Agralon. Loving the outfit. Very horizon. Jesus. Um, Speak. The Dragomov have many disagreements with Fra in the past. I hope this Kush Ark will do much to unite us. From Khan. The Kush Ark has begun. So many familiar faces I've not seen in years. Let honor. Do not worry, the Shattered Hand will make sure our festivities aren't interrupted by any of the Alliance spies lurking just outside. Um Oh yeah, they're out there. Even if we are at peace, we will keep eyes on each other. It keeps us both honest. What can I do for you? I'm honored to be representing my clan at the first Kush Ark, Gorgona of the Warsong clan. I did not know you were from the Warsong clan, Gorgona. I fought in the Warsong Offensive to honor my family's memory. My parents were Warsong and chose to bring my sister and I through the Dark Portal as children. Gromash did not approve of this and exiled us from camp. The four of us wandered the wilderness, eventually finding ourselves ambushed by human soldiers in Arafi. My parents were slain and Krenna and I were thrown in Durnhold. 
After the camps were freed, Kren and I followed Thrall to Durotar. We lost contact with her relatives still in the war song. Is she from the Garrosh short story or not? We became soldiers of the Horde and nothing else. We quickly climbed the ranks. After Krenna's death, the Horde was all I had. After the fall of Garrosh Hellscream, my uncle Gargo creaked out, wishing to make our family whole again. The war song were shattered by what Garrosh had become. I went to them in Ashenville and found a new place to belong. I eventually proved my strength to all of them through the Makora, and now I lead the war song. Oh shit! I will never allow us to lose our honor again. Uh, Gorgona. She became the leader of Conquest Hold in Grizzly Hill with the aid of Horde Adventurers and would later on lead the Warsong clan sometime after the Siege of Orgrimmar. Heart of War. Gorona breaks up an argument between Gromash and her sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, she is from the uh, Gera short story. Good job, Brain. Yeah, so there was like this... this um there was this short story with Garrosh in which they were, like, debating about their punishment in Durotar and whatnot. Um, but that is pretty out there, though. <laughs> Strength. Howdy, Orin. This is my first time visiting Durotar and Orgrimmar. I should have come much sooner. Victory. Okay. What do you need? How does Thrall stand the heat in Durotar? I Look feel like tall. I'm boiling alive. Nasgrel? Oh, yeah. Howdy, Kalimas. It is good to be among Frost Wolves again. My station in Fralmar has kept me away for too long. And Frost children are here. This is my first time meeting the younglings. I expect great things from Strength. those two. Ah, yeah. uh, no, no pressure, by the way. Uh, don't train your minds. Blood and thunder. Keep your eyes open. Don't waste victory. my time. Oh my god, he's here. Oh my god, the whole family's here. Ah! <clears throat> Calm yourself. Strength and We honor. get the pet. We get the pet. Sub -sub. I was surprised when Thrall reached out with an invitation to the Koshark. The Maknafal have never been included before. We were considered half-breeds by the old hordes. Lesser than true orcs. In isolation outlands, I did not realize how much had truly changed. It may be time for an earnest discussion with my son. For the Horde! It is my hope that the Koshark will show the Oryx that the isolation of the Maknafal can finally end. The journey from Outland has ignited in me a desire to explore. If that runs, Rexar has seen all of Azeroth. So should I. Dabu. Hi, Misha. Hi, Rexar. Did you recover from the whole I will serve Sylvanas now? The hunt begins. I did not know Thrall was going to invite the Maknafal to the Koshark. They deserve their place here, and I'm glad to see them amongst the orcs, but I've not spoken to my father since I left to join the Horde all those years ago. He was not ready to accept me back as his son when I was lost in Outlands. I do not know if he's ready now. This will be a difficult day for us. Let the to be hunt fair to Phil, begin. I don't know each and every one of these orcs either. And I know quite a bit of lore, but in this case, like Rexar, Rexar is champion of the Horde. So Rexar had a massive disagreement with his father, Leoric, uh, when he joined the Horde, way back when, during the original foundation of the Horde. Then Rexar found out that the Horde was lying being manipulated and betrayed from within by Gul'dan and, and the whole Nerzu, Kill Jaden thing. And uh, as the Dark Portal was blown up, Rexar was like, screw all of you, I'm gonna go live in the wilds, because you all can't be trusted, but the animals... They're my friends. So he wandered the wilds for a while until Warcraft 3, in which he ran into like this orc who had a message for Thrall. Thrall was in the middle of, of, of founding Durotar, and Rexar was like, you know what? Orc, you fought well, let me deliver this message for you. Which led to a whole series of events in which Rexar saved Bane, uh, Rexar met uh, Jen Stormstout, Rexar helped with the founding of Durotar, he helped the goblins, everything. Rexar became champion of the Horde. Um, in all that time, he had no contact with his father. So during Classic, he was an integral part of the Onyxia Achievement questline for the Horde side. In the Burning Crusade, as the Dark Portal reopened, we actually met with Leorux, and we found out that uh, the Maknafal, so half Orc, half Ogre, if I recall right, um, they weren't doing too well. And Rexar had been right about joining the Horde, but, you know, they weren't doing too well. Um, but beyond that, there was never any reconciliation between Rexar and his dad. They just stayed apart. 
And for a long, long while, Rexar just remained as champion of the Horde. He was part of the Legion Hunter or the Hall campaign. And then in uh, Battle for Azeroth, something really weird happened. Uh, Sylvanas became War Chief of the Horde. And for some reason, Rexar thought that it was a good idea to actually help Sylvanas. And you gotta imagine, like, he's been out of the story for a long while, right? He was not a champion of the Horde for a long while. And you'd imagine that somebody like Rexar would actually be opposed to Sylvanas, but nah, 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 nah. For some reason, unexplained, you know, Battle for Azeroth into Shadowlands, uh, Rexar was on this quest of, of hunting down Jaina, because Jaina was too hateful, and Azerite, and something, something, oh, here's Rexar. It was fucking weird. Um, but I, I choose to ignore that chapter. <laughs> that, but that's that's personal. You know what I mean? That's just personal. Uh, Go forth. Not victory. been this busy. Okay. There's a whole bunch of rowdy people up in here. Wee. Uh, one more orc clan behind the barracks. It's not the Shadow Moon clan, right? What's happening in here? Ah, this is just this will come. Okay. Let's have a look see. Behind the barracks. So, um, like the reason why I was so surprised about Nazgrim is um Like Nazgrim died during the Siege of Wargramar. He died in honor to War Chief Garrosh. Only to then be resurrected by the Death Knights in order to fight with them during the Order Hall campaign. Now all of that is a bit disturbing when you think about it, but fine. A hero, Nazgrim, he's actually... If you've never done the Death Knight Order Hall campaign, do yourself a favor and go through it. It is the best, in my opinion, Order Hall campaign that they did. And it's just fucking amazing. But to now see Nazgrim just stroll up into the horde and be like, Hey, what up, everybody? Um, I'm not actually dead. Ah, okay. Shokia. Um, Shokia played a big part in the Mr. Pandaria questline. Um, there's this whole capturing Enduin and monkey kissing Forsaken questline. And then she decided to ally with Garrosh and of course become her enemy. But as she explained herself, after which uh, she didn't know that Garrosh was going to push it this far. And uh, yeah. Nobody knew, I suppose. Behind the barracks. Ooh, uh, um, where? This is behind the barracks, right? Mysterious orc whispers, you saw nothing. A beautiful cut flower. A small written note is attached to the stem. The legends are true. You don't remember picking this up. Huh? What? Huh? Where are you? He vanished! No! So... Who, who is this supposed to be? Oh, Flower Picker! <laughs> the Flower Picking Clan! Nah! Nah! <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a nice touch. Okay. Uh, is the human who was also at the funeral? Uh, no, Tidaton Court we're talking about. Um, no, the reason why Tidaton was at the funeral is because he had, like, this whole book, um, Vol'jin Shadows of the Horde, where he got really close to Vol'jin. He was there not so much for the Horde, he was there for Vol'jin. Um, and this is, this is an orc gathering, ain't it? Okay, uh, I think we've, we've checked every, every nook and cranny now. Thank you so much for letting me know about that, by the way. I would have completely missed out on it. Mokra. Um, Agra has changed into ceremonial garb and paints. She looks at you sternly, but briefly flashes a kind smile. She is now officiating your ray. Hail! The clans have been called to the Koshark and have been gathered to witness your Um Gura. Are you ready? I am I, ready. Farseer Agralan of the Frostwolves. Called to the clans. Are they assembled? The clans have assembled. We answer the call. I call to our ancestors. May they bless this gathering of old and new. The first Kosharg of Azeroth has begun. And with this gathering, a new rite of passage. 
the Omgora. This champion has earned the honor of being the first to attempt it. Let the spirits guide you, champion. May you walk with honor. I really wish I was a warlock right now, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, Go with honor. Can I can I turn it in? There we go. May the spirits guide you to victory. The Omgora, a right of honor, earned by three blessings of the clan, of the land, and of the ancestors. When all three have been earned, you will understand what it means to be an orc. Zug zug. Okay, Go blessings of the land. To earn the blessings of the land, a young orc must learn respect for the spirits that dwell alongside us. If we do not live in the balance of the elements and life around us, it can lead to calamity. I will call to the spirits, and they will guide us to where your aid is needed. It is up to you to complete the task before you. May the spirits watch all spirits of the land hear my call. Guide this orc to one who most needs our aid. Thunder Ridge. That is <laughs> where your trial <laughs> begins. Okay. Ancestors watch over you. To earn the blessing of the clan, a young orc must learn that the clan is only as strong as its members. Prove your strength and worth to the living orcs. Since you were not born into a clan, you must first choose a clan to champion and be accepted by the clan's chieftain. The chieftains have gathered in their barracks. Join a clan and complete the task given to you. Go with the clans come together anew. Choose a clan to champion in your <laughs> Angora. <laughs> Okay. May the spirits watch over you. The blessing of the ancestors is meant to teach young orcs that the living owe everything to those that came before. We must honor the ancestors, seek their wisdom, and live up to their expectations. Your task is to craft an offering worthy of the honored dead and worthy of being the centerpiece at the offering stone of the first Korsharik of Azeroth. You must put all of your energy into its construction, or it will not be enough. Cook Turka will guide you. The ancestors are watching. Go, mother. May I accompany the champion on this part of their Angora? As you no. wish, Durak. Do your best to stay out of the way. <laughs> of course I will. Of course, Mom. I'll stay out of the way. Wow, you're amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh? do you have to go already? Oh my God, Frau. Bro, what have you done to your child? <laughs> Wifey, hello there. Uh, I'm doing, I'm loving the new quest lines. And orc RPers will love that. I wonder, like imagine being an orc RPer and being told like you were never born into a clan, even though your RP story is like you were born into a clan. All right, so Shattered Hand, Frostwolf, Black Rock, Bleeding Hollow, Warsong, Dragomaw. Oh man, this is actually a really hard choice. I'll, I'll go back to this later. Help, chat. What should I pick? Which one is one that not a lot of people do? Roll a die. Uh. Oh, you can listen to all of them. Uh, okay. Oh my god, you got a little treasure box of your... Oh, okay. That's from the training post, ain't it? Cute. Speak, friend. So, the big hero comes to Cook Turka for help, eh? Fine, but you're gonna have to do most of the work yourself. Be safe. I can guide you and craft your offerings to the ancestors, but you will need two things. You need to know the basics. Arugi can teach you how to cook if you don't already know. I need my old cookbook. We're gonna make something truly special. A fusion of old Drenor and Azeroth. And I'm gonna need it for reference. Go fetch my book from the inn. We can get started. Your this book is in the inn? Let's go! What do you need? Sick. I can cook now. Thank you. Go with honor. Uh, denounce. This is orc heritage armor. Added with the latest patch. I'll look over here. Okay. I'll look over here at the, at the shiny stuff. Oh, you found it. Good work. Spoons and Forks, a very old cookbook describing Orcish cuisine from Drenor. Oh, 
Troll Hall. Did you find me book? For the whole. There we are. It may not look like much, but this old thing made it through the dark portal. It is a family heirloom from before the hordes. Unusual for an orc, I know. My great-grandmother, Cook Barasha, collected recipes from all the clans at each koshark. And I understand it, she didn't trust anyone else to get it right, so she wrote it all down. We have stories of her awesome stubbornness. Enough reminiscing. Time to get cooking. Hope you're ready. May we your blades work. never dull. In here is a recipe for a traditional feast left for the ancestors at the Koshark by the Glens. We're gonna have to substitute some ingredients that, you know, no longer exist. But it will be for the better. We'll bring some Azeroth flair to this traditional dish. I will teach you each piece of the recipe. It will be up to you to gather the ingredients and actually cook it. Orc traders have come from all over, so you should be able to find everything you need right here at Razor Hill. For the Horde! Don't forget to read my cookbook. It has the recipes you will need. Uh, I don't know about the human heritage armor quite yet. Wow, That's up next. we need a lot. I'll start a list. Wow! Contained here are recipes from the many clans of Draenor collected by Barasha the Bold, daughter of Rokara. May we forever be willing to put down both our exes and our grudges when called to our communal table for a warm meal. With notes by Torka, son of Largosh. Spices here, tall buck steak from the Warsong clan. Make a dry rub. Yada yada yada. Oh god, okay. Sea salt, dried crushed roots, coat your tall buck steak on both sides, let it rest for up to two hours, sear your steak on a very hot stone, three to seven minutes per side. <laughs> so, uh, serve with mashed tubbers and rock blood gravy. The Warsong clan is renowned for their spicy dishes, so hot that you can't help but belt out a battle cry. Unfortunately, the Gorgar plant, which once grew near the throne of the elements, is extinct. Luckily, the Zandalari trolls grow hot peppers in the jungles near Zuldazar, which I believe will be a fine substitution. As far as I know, Gorgon peppercorn trees will still grow in the areas of the Blades at Mountains. Shade Salmon from the Shadowmoon clan. You want to cut it up, grill it, garnish with some squeezed moonfruit juice, uh, freshly caught fishies. Unfortunately, Shadowmoon Valley was completely destroyed, so all of these ingredients will have to be replaced to capture the spirit of this recipe. I recall moon fruits being both sweet and sour, something we can re re replicate with lemons grown on the Echo Isles by our Darkspear friends. And a little sugar. The Sour Fury River nearby has its own kind of salmon, and luckily the answer of kind aren't crusted with void magic. Huh. Uh, I actually wonder if we can still go to Alter the Draenor freely. I don't think so, nor wise. Be sure not to open your Batani hat until you're ready to begin the cooking, as the brains can dry out quickly once the hard shell is cracked. Eww. Oh, that's what I was thinking, the Builder. I don't think lore-wise we can easily just hop back in time and go back to Alternate Renault. I don't think we have a Hearthstone hooked onto our garrison. I don't think lore-wise that's, that's how we're doing it. Cuisine was notable for its complex spices and unusual ingredients sourced from the island of Farallon, often including sentient creatures. I believe we could replace these with similar enough plants and animals from Azeroth, like the crabs found on the Durotar coast and coconuts native to Unkudo Crater. Though Farallon is long gone, some of the native life has been preserved to the Echodomes in Netherstorm. Uh, Feast of the Ancestors. Every clan present at the Koshark may contribute a meal of their own making to the feast, to bring honor to themselves in the eyes of the ancestors. Sometimes specific favored foods of those past are placed in order to summon them and receive their wisdom. Barrels of ale along with the food or other alcohol is also traditional. The most important thing is that the ancestors feel included in the festivity as a whole. All right. Are those two arguing about ale? Grownups are strange. <laughs> what are you looking for? We always get about we always get to argue about which brews are better when we get together like this, okay? Thank you. No refunds. That guy over there looks a little shady, but we should see what he has for sale. What are you looking for? I need uh I don't know. What do I need? I need uh I need a Feralon Fenugreek. Yes. And a Zandalari Pidi Pidi. I need another Fenugreek. Thank you. Uh, two more Zandalari Pidi Pidi. Thank you kindly. Um, got anything else? Hey, these so. good oh, you do actually. You what else? <laughs> what else you got? Take a look. Oh. Blizzard give us proper glass mugs. But they did though, Mark. We got glass mugs. Like uh, an expansion ago or two. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I got those. Yeah. Come again.
That's Nula from Garadar. She'll have Talbuk meat. Look, da. Uh, Talbuk steak. Three of those. Okay. Dee dee dee. String. Uh, if it was on my human, I could actually show you. I used to use the glasses until I got like the whole hoodie thing going on, because it is a helmet transmog, but yeah, yeah. Oh no! Grab them before they escape. Got him. Thank you. One uh, of these fishermen <laughs> should have the salmon we need. Throw her. Sure. Okay. Mogra. Yeah. You got some lemons. Now I need some coconuts. Oh, you got those as well. Nice. Be cool. Safe. What else do we need? Sweet salt. Strength and honor. That's everything. Yay. That's everything. Yay. Now you just need to cook it. Woo. Greetings. That's everything. <laughs> now you just need to cook it. Uh-huh. Be careful out there. Bro, your boy's got a bit of um got a bit of a thing going on. Now that we have everything on the list, you have to put it all together. How hard could it be? I'm gonna let you handle it though. I'll watch. I hope I see you again. Right. Uh, every day, better lure. Where did you put it? I need grilled sow fury salmon. There we go. That is indeed Frost Child. Yes, it is. Uh, they're gonna let me cook. Yes. And I need spicy tailbuck. I need to take off my sweater. Woo! Spicy warm, have to admit. And then we need curried coconut. Feast of the Ancestors. Okay. Ooh. Uh. Very good. Place your feast at the Offering Stone to the southeast. May your efforts be rewarded and your offering accepted. That smells delicious! Do the dead actually eat? Well, I mean, in the Shadowlands sometimes. But then there's this thing called Anima, and I kind of put it in my um, covenant. So what I did, right, I was like disenchanting spirits and stuff. Now don't worry, these spirits were in the Maw, so it was actually hell. Um, so it was actually a better case you for them. You did it! Mm -hmm. How do we know if it worked? Your offering is worthy, my friend. <gasps> you have earned our blessing. Sour Fang! May Brooksy your Gar. actions continue to lead the orcs to honor and glory. Eee. If you would, tell Etrig he was right. And Thrall... Tell him I am heartened to have dragged him out of seclusion. Duratan, where did they leave you in the Shadowlands, uh, Duratan? Where are and you? you? Durak, son of Thrall. Me? You will find your path in due time, and it will lead you to greatness. Aww. I. I will do my best. Thank you. Skull, you really did. <laughs> oh no, with honor. Always. So, okay, Draka. Blood and thunder. Thrall's mom, you might remember partying with her in the Shadowlands. The first secret of true honor. You are a shaman of many virtues, bravery and tenacity most of all. I'm glad the Goel has your aid. Uh, the return of the Koshar represents a turning point for our people. After a long suffering, a brighter future has finally for been Brexus reached. For um, this Duratan, Thrall's dad, unknown where he was, didn't show up during the Shadowlands. Frostwolf blood runs I'm finally thick. able to see this land called Duratar with my own eyes. Oh, yeah, the land's called after his daddy. Uh, I'm ever honored that my son chose to name this for the new home of the orcs. Thank you for being his friend and ally. He has certainly had his trials, but has nevertheless found happiness and family. Stay strong. Varok. I am Sarfang, brother of Broxigar. 
brother. There you go. So Varok uh, gave his life during Battle for Azeroth to expose the darkness of Sylvanas to the rest of the Hordes. There's nothing more to say. We are proud of all that you've accomplished, and we'll be watching over you as our people cross the threshold of a new age. Please, deliver my message to the others when you can. After everything that happens, you'll want to know that all is well in the end. The Horde will endure. Broxigar. Well, we spoke about Broxigar earlier. Uh, Broxigar and Fura. I do believe that they gave him the same axe that Fura is wearing right now, but we'll have to have a little look-see. So this was the one who um, wounded Sargeras, got his grave on Argus, and um, yeah. You are, you and I are alike. Oh, stop it. Willing to put our lives on the line to protect what matters. The orcs, the horde, Azeroth itself. Could see you being the example of honor and might to our people. Never abandon your willingness to fight until the end. Look Ogar. I will see you again on the other side. Now look forward to the stories of your victories. It is the same axe. Well, there you go. Access scenario is confirmed. Here's Gromash. Gromash, similar to his son Garrosh, is a little bit, uh, a little bit out there. Gromash was the first to, um, Gromash was the first to be drinking the demon blood. Um, he then again in Warcraft 3 drank demon blood again, despite for all trying to lead them all to a different future. Uh, he murdered Sonaris and all that. But at the same time, he also sacrificed himself to bring down Manoroth and free all the orcs from the demonic curse. Uh, so he definitely went out as a hero. Look how far the orcs have come. In my time, we knew only harsh survival, fleeing one set of shackles after another. I know that the memory of my sacrifice has been wielded for many causes, but I do not fault anyone for fighting for a brighter future for orcs. Everything that happened since my death has led to this moment of unity. If I have one regret, is that I was not alive to guide my son down a better path. Let his story be a warning to those that remain. I mean, technically speaking, Gromash, he did hang out with you for a little while. Like, it wasn't you, you. Although, they did say that alternate spirits, like, unite with other spirits in the Shadowlands. But, let's not go there, shall we? <laughs> let's not go there. Orgrim Doomhammer! Yay! Orgrim was the bestest buddy of Durotan. Uh, Orgrim then uncovered the corruption within the Horde, took over from Gul'dan and such. Unfortunately, he still got betrayed by Gul'dan, which led to his imprisonment. He escaped from the Lordaeron prisons to then reunite with Thrall, lead the liberation of the other Orcs, and sacrifice his life for that cause, and pass on the title of Warchief to young Thrall, age 15. The first seeker of true honor. How everything has changed since I fell in Arafi. The orcs have come to another foreign land, but this time free of the subjugation of the humans. They found their place amongst all these other races, true brothers and sisters in arms. I'm truly proud of you all. And I will be honest, I'm glad Thrall has returned to wearing my armor after these years of inner strife. He has always struggled to balance the warrior and the shaman within himself. But it seems that he's finally found a place of happiness. All the orcies we were, all of them, hell yeah. First proper Orgrim model. Um, isn't this the one that he used for um, Draenor, though? Looks like the one he used for Draenor. Alright, yeah, this made me very happy. Yeah. Did that really just happen? Father speaks of Saurfang often. He misses him. Hmm. Draenor is definitely alternate things, but they still look the same. Speak your mind. Uh, right, the blessing of the clan. Watch over you. Let's pick one, shall we? Dee -dee -dee -dee. Speak to them while you can. Ah, uh, okay. Lotar. You wish to learn more about the Frostwolves? The Frostwolf clan originally hailed from Fosfire Ridge on Draenor. Ran Azeroth, most of us now dwell in the Altric Mountains. We are known for having lifelong wolf companions, being hardy warriors and hunters, and having a strong connection to the spirit of the elements and our ancestors. We value honor above all else and strive to do what is right. I'm sure you're familiar with the story of my father Durt, and he fought for the freedom of our people. If you'd like to formally join the Frostwolves, we will be honored to have you. For Azeroth. Oh my god, I get to join the Frostwolves? For real, bro? Oh, lordy. It is, Adam. It is. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Greetings. So, uh, Durotan, similar to, like, his bestest buddy, Orgrim. Like, that's the reason why Orgrim uncovered the, uh, the corruption within the Horde. Durotan exposed it. Unfortunately, what well, they didn't realize that there were guards amongst Orgrim's people that were actually working for Gul'dan. So, Durotan and Draka both got slaughtered. 
um, for betraying the horde, quote unquote, but you know, uh, trying to save it actually. And um, Thrall was left to the wilds to just die there, but Thrall was found by Adelis Blackmore, raised as a slave gladiator, and became the badass that we know him as. You come to learn the ways of our shattered hand, Glen. I can tell you, but then I would have to kill you. Ah, just kidding. Long ago, our clan dwelled in the spires of Arrak and Renor. Our founders were comprised of a group of gladiator slaves who escaped from the Heimal Ogres. The clan name comes from a tradition of cutting off one of your hands and replacing it with a weapon. That is no longer a requirement. These days, we serve as Orgrimmar's spies and assassins. We value ruthlessness, cunning, and the nerve to do what must be done to ensure peace for the rest of our people. Um... We have watched your many deeds from the shadows and would welcome you into our fold well, with friend. pleasure. Yo, where's the flower picking, Glen? <sighs> you want to know about the Dragon Maw? Fine, I will recount our sad history. My clan were once fearsome hunters and Rylak riders who lived on the border of Frostfire and Gorgrond. We earned the name Dragon Maw after we were given the power to enslave the red dragons by Deathwing. <sighs> Did you? I thought you always called yourself Dragomal before you came over. Huh? Wait, wasn't there a Dragomal clan on Draenor? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, they, they let me there, Skull. They let me there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on Draenor, the Dragomal dwelled in southwestern Gorgrons. The alternate universe, roughly, yada yada yada. The Dragomar were the ones that the Nerzul signed it when he tried to convince the Orcs to go to war to Draenei. Ah. I thought that they were called Dragomar even back then. Ah. Ah, well, doesn't matter. Um. After we lost our dragons. So, okay. After we lost our dragons, we grew isolated and desperate. We attempted to find new slaves, the Netherwing and the Black Dragons, but we could keep neither. We eventually joined Hellscream's horde, only to lose another leader and any scrap of honor we had left. If after hearing all of this, you still wish to join the Ragamaw, we will welcome you. You're not wrong. The Angerfang were long supporters of Necro Skullcrusher and his son. It earned us nothing but death and dishonor. I will say this though, I intend to find a new place in Azeroth, and in his new horde, for my people. And I intend to do it through our own strength alone, not through yet another enslaved people. If the Dragomar die out before that happens, so be it. So yeah, they, um, once upon a time, War of the Ancients, Deathwing designed the uh, Dragosol, which had the power, uh, like, you know, one-shot dragons and all the good stuff. So after the war, once they got the disc out of his hands and they, like, victory and all that, they hid away the Dragosol, and they made it so that no dragon could ever wield the disc again. Um, unfortunately, Deathwing being the aspect of Earth and hiding something underneath the Earth on Azeroth, it didn't exactly mean that it stayed hidden from him. Um... So, he eventually found it, but again, he could not wield it, so he used the Dragomar clan, he sent them, like, visions, and he told them in their dreams how to wield it, uh, up to the point where the Dragomar clan actually got their hands on a disc, and they used it to enslave Alexstrasza and the Red Dragonflight. So, whenever Alexstrasza didn't listen, they would, like, destroy her ex and smear the yoke on her face, and, uh, they would imprison and enslave her children to ride into battle, until the Mage Ronin, together with the Aspects of Coriolstras, uh, they were able to destroy Dragon Soul, liberate Alexstrasza, and um, defeat the Dragomar clan, up to the point where the Dragomar clan got their hands on the chain that once held um, the disc. And I believe the chain gave them power, like very limited power. I believe that's a storyline that happens in the Twilight Highlands. Eventually, Warlord Zela takes over, and then Zela joins Garrosh. Um, and there was speculation back in the day that Zela and Garrosh might have a child to like continue the Hellscream bloodline, but that never came to be a thing. Uh, instead, Zela became a boss in Upper UBRS, and Garrosh, well, was electrocuted by Thrall. Glory to the Horde. You wish to learn of my clan? The Warsong clan hails from the plains of the Grand Andrenor. The mighty Gromash Hellscream led the clan to Azeroth in the Horde's vanguard. Despite the defeat in the Second War, most of the clan evaded capture. They later rallied to Thrall's side to free those of the internment camps and build a new home. Loktar Ogar. It defines the Warsong. We value skill on the battlefield above all, and are known for our fearsome battle cries. Despite this, we've learned the lessons of the past. We will never again sacrifice our honor to achieve victory. The fall of Garrosh Hellscream has ensured that. 
I will be honored to fight by your side. I did not know you were from the Warsong clan. I think we already had this, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go forth to victory. You left me to pick up your pieces. All I did, I did for the horde. Shark, shark. You wish to learn of the Bleeding Hollow Clan, as you wish. Before the time of the Horde, we lived in the wilds of Tanan Jungle. My father, Keorog Deadeye, led most of our clan to war in Azeroth. Those who did not return to Drenor after the Second War were captured and placed in internment camps. These two halves of my clan have been separated. Until now, my clan is known for performing rituals that many would consider dark. We do not shy away from such tools. We know what fate has in store for us, and we do what must to survive. You perform mighty deeds, and being victorious in many battles, the Bleeding Hollow will gladly accept you. For the Horde! Yeah, yeah, um... From Khan. His son is here. Each child is also outside. You wish to learn more about the Blackrock? We recently hailed from Gorgrond on Draenor, and then we found our home in the Blackrock Mountain after the invasion. Our chieftain Blackhand was the first war chief of the Horde. He was cruel and hungry for power. He was overthrown by Orgrim Doomhammer, which split our clan's loyalties. Those of us but that remain true Blackrock orcs value strength of body and purpose. Many of us are warriors and blacksmiths. Varok Saurfang and his brother Broxigar were of the Blackrock clan. Even though both are gone, we still strive to live our lives to their standard of heroism and sacrifice. I will be honored Goodbye. to have you join. Dromka. And that brings us back Together, to the original one. So we are strong. Originally, I was pulled to the Dragomar clan. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like the whole we tried to make up for a legacy. But I'm curious about the Dead Eye and the Bleeding Hollow because it might connect to Etrix Child. Trollhow. So I'm gonna sign up with the Bleeding Hollow clan. Hell yeah. Perhaps I underestimated you. Come, we must speak to the Farseer. This is the Orc Heritage Armor, uh, when at it today. Agra. Mokra. I did the thing. Go with honor. Your path has been chosen. Are you ready? May the spirits watch over you. And I did a feast. Go yeah. with honor. It is a rare thing for the ancestors to cross over the manifest before an offering. Yours must have been truly worthy. I hope Durak appreciates the honor that was just bestowed upon him as well. When the Omgara is finished, you should pass on the messages you receive for the others. I think you would appreciate it. She offers you a quick wink. May the spirit watch over you. Speak your mind. Frau. Go with honor. I'm not flirting, okay. Let's ride. Um, yeah, so far this quest line is phenomenal. Oh, 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 there's a quest to be picked up. What? Yorin? Yorin, are you underneath there somewhere? Ah, there you are. Sorry, Yorin. It's it's old age, buddy. You get a little bit blind oh, from time to time. The Farseer and I have decided that the blessing of the clan will take inspiration from the Umrigor. We of the Bleeding Hollow still see value in the old traditions. You will trek and kill a beast without your armor while acting as our champion. But we've decided that this will be a particular beast that has become a menace and is worthy of your skills. You will hunt and slay the unknown monster that has been stalking the residents of the Valley of Trials. The peons have taken to calling it Gorkrush, the Long Knives. Seek out Kaltunk and investigate. Once the beast is slain, take a trophy as proof of the deed and paint your face with his blood as proof for the Farseer. I have no doubt that you will succeed. Remember, you must bring back a trophy from your kill and paint your face with the blood of your prey. And you are forbidden from wearing armor until Gorkrush is slain. Go with honor. Oh my god, don't look at me, chat. Ah, I'm beautiful, but still. Pom, pa, 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 pom. Oh cool, we go back to where it all started, eh? Roktar, be safe. Is that you, Smork? Look at how much you've grown. But why are you here? They sent you to deal with the Gorkush. Thank the ancestors. Go forth to victory. The Gorkush, the Long Knives, have been terrorizing the Valley of Trials for weeks now. Orcs have been going missing, and many of our young trainees have been injured. Yes, this will become a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The peons took to call it a mysterious attacker, the Long Knives, because the few bodies we found all have long, terrible gashes across their backs. They're terrified. They refuse it to work. We've no idea who or what Gorkrush really is, but they're clearly very dangerous. Please, find a monster 
and the manners. Strength. May your blades never dull. <laughs> All the cream. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that peon. Another one. I can't keep losing peons like this. Long gashes from something like a blade. Same as the others. Do you really think it was Gorkrush that did it? I cannot say, but we must take this seriously. This is the third death with the same wounds. Um, quickest way of leveling this are, I would say... Um, I would say, like, dungeons. Turn on time walking, like your favorite dungeons, that Alpha Quest, and, and go through the dungeons themselves. Uh, alternatively, what you could do is wait for time walking next week and then do it. Time walking gives a ton of experience, like, ridiculously quick. What can I do for you? Injured adventurer with a bag of apples. <laughs> oh, that's cute, actually. The young orc's last words were a request to deliver the apples to Galgar. Will you honor her request? <laughs> oh. Yeah, warlords... Um, warlords questing, not dungeoneering, I would say. Warlords questing because they got the whole... Um, like, really, really solid leveling rope. And I think, like, uh, bonus stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. McGraw. Hello. I got a bag of cactus. It contains a young adventurer's hopes and dreams. <laughs> oh, and cactus apples. Strength. Oh, no. No one, is supposed, no one is supposed to die over these. I just ask all the young orcs to do this. It's, it's supposed to be easy. <laughs> be safe. Oh, no. Speak up. Cool. White Tiger watch over you. Is that the starting quest? Yeah, yeah, that's what they're referencing. Like, every orc gets it as the starting quest. <laughs> what do you need? Have you seen any evidence? I'm not even sure Gorkrush exists. These peons get worked up over nothing. For uh, the horde. Ha. Huh. Okay. Um. Does explain all the graves, I suppose. <gasps> A terrified peon. Yes. Work, no, work. no, 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 no. Please spare me, Mr. Gorkrush. I'll be a good little peon. It is funky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? What happened? What do you want? Big monster jump out. Pale as ghost. Kill friends, then vanish. Please, do not let it kill me. And when is this you? Anduin, why are you killing peons? Are you trying to level up? Oh, beast tracks, never mind. It's from a raptor or something similar. This is very alarming evidence. I mean, we're missing the mushroom vendor. We're missing we're missing the flower picking clan. Thrall Hall. Go forth to what have you found? You tell Kaltunk about the large free toad prints, uh, raptors, witnessing accounts, and the bodies of deep slashes. You're telling me Gorkrush is actually a huge white For raptor? The horde. <gasps> May your blades never if Gorkrush is truly a raptor, you should be able to track it down just like any other animal. See if you can find its trail. We know it's been around here recently. Corner it in his lair and end this once and for all. Make sure you return to Razor Hill straight away once you make the kill. The far seer will need the proof of the deed. Thank you, Smork. May the spirits guide your blade. Strength, go forth to victory. Zug zug. Do you think the people of Azeroth are disturbed when you summon something like this? Do you think they go like, huh, that Farseer is riding a free-headed demonic dog? Or do you think this is just another day in Azeroth, ain't it? It's only on Tuesdays. <laughs> the Lekka Samuro. Oh my god, you actually found one that they forgot about? Oh. <gasps> Just another good am passing by. Hmm. I mean, I could follow the tracks, or I could just follow the quest marker. Hmm. 
This is the mount from pre-ordering uh, Diablo 4. And in my case, I know I'm going to be playing Diablo 4 no matter what. So it was a easy decision. Oh, look at that. Found it. Ooh. Can't wait either, Kapunji. Um, I do believe we're going to have open beta this weekend. But I don't think I'm going to be testing a whole lot more. I'm just going to wait until the campaign is actually available in its, uh, in its entirety. As well as I imagine that the servers are going to be extremely, extremely busy. Once the massive talons of the raptor. Oh. You know, it would actually be cool if there was like paint on your face right now. But nah, nah, nah it's a buff. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's let's go tell them what we've done. Uh, the banner on your back is from a uh, quest line that's happening right now. So that's why I'm, I'm like representing the clan. But there is a transmog that allows you to put a banner on your back. Not too happy about the 70 euros. The pricing is insane. And that's the baseline game, by the way. That's not even talking about any uh, additional stuff that's added to it. Um, as well as I'm not I'm not advocating like pre-order Diablo 4 because I don't know how good the game is going to be and I don't know nobody knows like you, you're not gonna be able to tell from the open beta either uh, for all I know they're gonna be doing Diablo immortal practices again and then you're stuck with a pre-order of the game I just know for me I'm just gonna be playing through the campaign I'll be a happy camper because I played through the campaign right well met Saurfang had a message for you bro Saurfang what was his message honor <laughs> no matter how tired. I am glad you did too, old friend. Never forsake it. Huh? Loktar for Azeroth. Do you have the trophy? Have you painted your face? I did. May the spirits watch over you. A clean gill. You've defended the young and the weak honorably. The spirits are pleased. You've earned the blessing of the clan. You may have your clothes back. <laughs> Thanks, Agra. Go with honor. You and I, we don't get to hide. Loktar! Strength and honor! Yeah, I mean, Farewell. when it comes to a Diablo game, Reza seems to have warmed up to you a little. She's still blushing, but looks at you and smiles. Thank you for being nice to Durak. You're really nice. Ah, Frost children! Oh my god. Let me tell you, I was at Frost's wedding, right? And he didn't even acknowledge it. He was like, Oh, Ma Walker! It was really rude. But I'm, I'm like, Ah, oh, y'all like me, Can huh? Can I help? Yay, okay. Let's talk again cool, cool. soon. Best class for a green orc. Warlock. All of them. Nah, you could be whatever. <laughs> the, the green skin is just a legacy of the orcs. Which actually has the indication of um, it might be going away. Um, because if we look here, we have Fro with the green skin, right? And then Agra with the brown skin. So Agra is Magar, uncleansed, of uncorrupted. Um, and in her chill- Oh, actually, now that you mention it. Wait, wasn't Durak green? I thought one of them was green. Huh. Look at that. Look at that. That child is green. And now it's no longer green. Um, but that might just be, like, you could give it a lore explanation and say, like, the corruption, it's went out of them or something like that. It's basically the, the idea behind it is that the, um, the green skin is the orcs taking in the fell. It is the corruption of their people. Um, but over time, I feel like it's actually a good idea that the corruption goes away as the orc story changes. As well as, if we look at the Blackrock clan, um, living in a mountain also changed their skin color. So, yeah. In Legion, he was already brown. Oh, there you go. But, um, yeah, these are, uh, these are their children. Durak and Reze. No orc baby models with the brown skin. There you go. They're mountain colored. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's exactly how it goes. I'm trying to think, like, in the vision, there is a, um, there's a quest line during the Cataclysm where Agra goes and saves Thrall. It was like an epic cloak quest line. And they have a vision in the water as to what Thrall wanted. And she's like, oh, you wanted a family. And then you also see the two children. 
But any idea of um, they actually don't have a different color model for the children is actually valid. The spirit of Thunder Ridge. Ooh. Hear me, young one. I am the spirit who protects this place. The canyon below once teemed with life, and it could once more with your intervention. Aid me now! Click. No? Click. There we go. Life can only thrive when a delicate balance is maintained. The arrival of your people and the humans was but the first link in the chain that led to desolation. You yourself are not to blame, but you can be the force that restores what once was. Dive to the waters below and recover the seeds buried in the silts. They are the memory of the ancient forest that once grew in harmony with my people. Beware, the elements are not at peace. Huh. You're not, you're not going to be blaming me for the corruption of the land, right? Because I'm pretty sure it's the Emerald Nightmare that caused this, but... Alright, sure. Blame me, why don't you? No, go away, mud elemental. Uh... I haven't been at peace since about Cataclysm. The elements are always up in a huffy. The elements are always upset. And the one time we asked them, like, hey, could you not murder us? They don't care, you know? They're drama queens. They're, like, people have been asking, like, what would be more powerful? Like, an elemental or, uh, like, a, a shaman or a warlock? But a shaman has to, like, beg and negotiate with the elements to please make him do something. And, a, and, a, ja and a, a warlock is like, yo, I got fell powers, uh, you're dead now, good luck. So obviously, the warlock would win. And then, we also have the whole money-making goblin, that for some reason was able to make a bargain with the elements as well. Apparently, the elements care about making money. <laughs> what do the elements also want to target that? I mean, by the time that you're done having your conversation, Weaver, you're already dead. Umeyo wa shinderu. Nani? You're already dead. Your life is already drained from you. Have you not seen a warlock movie? <laughs> Uh, shamans are chosen by the elements. I got that from the Throne of Elements cinematic. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely a gift. And you can train in the ways of the shaman, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the elements will obey your call or will follow your bidding. As well as, um, if we look at Nobundo and the Broken Ones, uh, the elements have choice. Once upon a time, the elements were allied to the orcs, and everything was fine and dandy. And then the orcs were like, ooh, this fell magic, pretty new, pretty poggers, pretty hype, and they abandoned the elements. They then went the whole little war with the Draenei, and Gul'dan made like this, this, this virus, this, this nuclear attack, and he threw like red mist upon Shafrev, disconnecting the Draenei from their original holy light. Which is actually the one source that we know that can actively disconnect you from the light, which is kind of cool. Um, and at that point, Nobundo and his people, they were disconnected from the light, they started to deform. And even worse, holier than thou Velen and the rest of their people, they were like, "Ew, you're ugly now! You're not allowed in our cities! Imagine you being contagious! And they kicked them out. So Nobundo and their people, they were just chilling there. And they were asking the lights, like, please come back. They were having to fight against demons, and Draenor got corrupted. People started to throw themselves off cliffs, and they were like, well, that's our life now. Until one day, the elements called to Nobundo and opened up the path for him to become a shaman. And so the elements were like, hey, Nobundo, you want to be our friends? And they're like, oh yeah, I want to be. The ancient forest will return in time. My kind will return in time. By your hands, 
this has been set in motion. Oh, that is cool. All right. Uh, was this the first time that Gildan erupted the first mountain? Oh, God. I would actually have to look up when that whole mountain thing happened. <laughs> Thunder Ridge shall be free. Durak was brown, but Reza was green. There you go. Then, okay. Yeah, then your idea of the child model does not come in a brown variant has to be it. This is the uh, Diablo 4 pre-order mount diligence. Okie dokie, I saved nature. Mokra. You return. I trust you've aided the spirits of Thunder Ridge. May the spirits watch over you. You've done well. The spirits sing your praises on the wind. Eventually, Thunder Ridge will flourish into a new oasis, benefiting the people of Orgrimmar and the Thunder Lizards alike. You've earned the blessing of the land. Go with honor. You successfully completed the Umgura. Congratulations. Now it is time to party! We prepared a feast for all in the attendance in your honor. Go. Revel in the glory that you've earned. Enjoy yourself. If any of these orcs get out of line, Remind them why you were the one who was chosen to complete the new rite first. Our champion has completed the Amgora. Let us feast in their honor. Loktar! Hey, party! Loktar. Party! Chuck, Be Chuck, safe. Chuck. So now we get to party with everybody, yeah? <sighs> uh, dialogue all seems to be the same, by the way. The Wind Commanders are here. Mankrik, his new girlfriend. Rhaegar's partying. So that is why I intend to unify our clan once more. It is a bold plan, that I. Does that mean you're moving the clan to Azeroth? Aye. It is clear that the future of the orcs is here. <gasps> Rexar is having dinner with the family. Oh my god. Come on, Rexar. Speak 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 about your feelings. Daddy, I miss you. I miss you too, child. Why do we stay a bridge from each other? I don't know. Let's hug it out. Yes, we shall. Now? All right, well, I'll steal your food then. This is mine now. It is good to be among the war song again. Holy shit, you're having dinner with a corpse. I was not sure I'd be welcome amongst the living. Of course, General. As far as I'm concerned, you died with honor and continue to serve with honor in your undeath. The past is the past. The orcs must move on and keep striving forward together. Have I told you about the time that they invaded Light's Hope Chapel? Have I told you about that time? Gargok, was that honorable, you think? Trying to rob a corpse of the light? Yeah? Okay, cool, cool. Talk to Rex Charlie Oryx. Do they have new dialogue? My quarry nears. Oh, my father has decided that he is speaking to me. It is a start. <gasps> hey, oh, what? For the horde. I was surprised when Frau reached us out with an invitation. The Mokrafal in isolation did not realize how much she truly changed. Go forth um, to victory. What the? They nearly killed me. Take a peon's booterang. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Are you the one who led like the whole riot? Is that you? Where is my booterang? Remember when they made a quest line in which they made it seem like unionizing was really bad in the cataclysm? Remember that? Now that is something that would never, ever happen in real life, right? That, that's, that's, what do you right? Mancrick is, Man is feeling good again. Yay! Farewell. 
certain to succeed you. I'm gonna. I will fight to my last I'm gonna learn join the ranks of Farseer. Strength. Unified plans. It? Warlocks are invited. Very well. Family, I have many stories of the conquest in Kazmodan during the Second War. It is an honor to finally meet the son of Kilrog and those of my clan who remained in Drenor. An honor I owe to your efforts. Go with honor. Uh, I hope that doesn't mean he expects me to spend more time here. How do people look at this red ground all the time? It hurts my eyes. <laughs> For the horde. Speak, friend. Drag them all, find peace. Grah. Strength. What do you need? Uh, Frau Vaidras, I cannot believe it. Dragomar has been invited. It's amazing. Oh. I wish Duras was here to see this. Me too, buddy. Me too. Go forth to victory. So where you all Mobile. put um, glory to the horn. Frawls brawls. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> May your okay. blades never die. Okay. Dull. Okay. They do not hold it against me that I defended the war chief to death or that I now this. What's left of my cold, unbeating heart is warm. Perhaps I do not need to be distant to the living. Or perhaps we it's just being will polite. Succeed. Huh. Strength and I mean, don't get me wrong, I actually quite like that uh Nuskri is uh, Whoa, whoa, whoa. In part of the party. Strength. I wanna do it next. Let's see how tough you really are. They're warlocks, perhaps spend two time in a company of ogres, but I don't feel the need to cut them down. They may be the closest thing to kin that I've left. He said he has not spoken to anyone from our clan since the invasion of Azeroth. I feel like it could be sliced in half at any moment if I say the wrong thing. It's unworthy of being in his presence. Par the heart! Blood and thunder. Rare to see many of the Shattered Hand together in one place, so we're often in the fields. I hope the Kush Ark gathering occurs more than once a generation. Strength. What do you need? Go forth to victory. What if they now feel confident enough to, like, come out of hiding? Come on. I know you're out there. Reveal thyself. Thank you, Kabunji. Gotta gotta compliment the, the blizzard for this though. So here are the children tables. Warlocks. Where did y'all put food out? What the hell? Greetings! I wanted to say that you did great with the Omgora. I was worried about my chances when it's my turn, but you've shown me what it takes. I can't wait until I'm old enough to do it myself. So uh thank you. For showing me uh, the way. Do you have to go already? Etrix's faith in you was not misplaced. You've demonstrated to all what a successful Umgara should be. And appears you've also made fans of both of my children. They will surely wish to follow the path of the shaman. Go with After honor. your performance. Uh, I spoke to Corona at the beginning. Haven't seen her... Yeah. Thrall hard. How does Thrall stand the heat? Uh, target Grona. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you get to a specific spot, they'll throw a flower at you. It's kind of cool. Where are you, Grona? Oh, there you are. Oh, shit. Mokra. You should join us, Grona, officially. You can even challenge me for my position if you wish. We just need more orcs of your skill. I've become used to doing things alone. And used to not really being welcome amongst the orcs. Times change, as they say. <gasps> Those are Garrus's words. Apparently, I will consider it. The Shattered Hand will make sure festivities aren't interrupted by any of the Alliance spies. Who's next? I've never belonged to a clan. Being half-blooded used to mark you as an outcast. She looks around Razor Hill at Magna Fall and Lanchester of the Blade. Our times have changed. Perhaps it will take Tega up on her offer. Well, what about uh, the Rogue Order Hall, then? Is that no longer your place? Now, where y'all keep food at? Oh, there's Let food the hunt begin. 
It is a good day to fight. Trumka, it's an honor to finally meet you. I will take this opportunity to speak with Etric and his son. <sighs> what happened to you? Blood metric ritual. Etric, sour thing. I had a message for you, Etric. <laughs> ah! Only in death would he admit it. Oh, I miss him. Ah. Uh... Rotor. Straight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Don't don't have to hit me with the peels, but okay. Ariok says something different if your character is warlords. Oh shit, okay. Um. Let me let me let me just Thumbs enjoy up. enjoy the feast over here. Babu. Yeah, Etric and Drekfar. Although Drekfar is definitely uh definitely getting of age. Uh. That's what I'm saying. I need to spend time on future generations, which is why it's nice to see like Frawl's kids actually take a position up in the storyline, like a proper position. Like yeah, sure, they're like the annoying little teenagers right now, but that's the whole point, isn't it? Wonder when Moira's child is gonna be a thing. Smork, smork, smork. I don't think I can eat another bite, bro. From car. Yeah, I think it's time we draw the celebration to a close. Uh, there's such a thing as partying too hard. Together, the Koshark has been a great strong. success. In no small part, thanks to you. All that is left is for Agra to perform the ceremony to bring the festival to an official close. I wish to speak to the crowd before we all disperse again. And something's long overdue in being said. Oh, you want to talk to the people, Frol? Well, as luck would have it, you're not the Farseer, are you? That's right. That's right. You've been replaced. You've been replaced, Frol. First by me, and now by Agralan. Ha! Let honor guide your path. Thank you all for honoring us with your presence here. When our people came to Azeroth from Draenor, ours was not an easy road. And along the way, many of our ancient traditions were lost. But the time has come to remember the rights of old and to build new traditions that honor our proud legacy. This champion is the first to complete the new rite of Amgora. Zug, zug. <laughs> Let their footsteps be followed for generations to come. Loktar. Loktar Ugar. And so, we bring the first Kosharg of Azeroth to an end. May the honored ancestors watch over us all. Aww. Until next we meet. Ah, that's really cool. Yep. This, uh, again, 10 out of 10. Well done, Bliss. Fuck yeah. What is it? Strength and honor. Go forth to victory. Ah, Go forth Shortland. to victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Victory! I have not seen the orcs so hopeful about the future since we liberated the internment camps. Others are now lining up to complete the Omgora themselves, but they are fools that they think they will go before me. I will be the second orc to complete it. <laughs> Damn, Fral. Damn, buddy. Okay. Together, we are strong. Etrix's faith was not misplaced. You've made fans out of both my kids. May the spirits watch over you. Uh, you did great. I hope and I see you again. Up. Okay. Yes. A new age is dawned for our people. I could never imagine bringing you in my old fool's crusade could, would have led to this moment. We had this armor specially made just for you. You've more than earned it. Ah, uh, we actually get the banner as a toy as well. Ah, oh, sick. Okay. Stay strong. Hell. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Sug sug. Go. Come on, Rexar, don't be so shy, buddy. My father has decided it's Good start. Hunting. Okay. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Clan Banner. Ha! Huh. Actually kinda cool. Uh, right, let's check out this set, shall we? Uh, yuck. Yum! Shop! Browse! Smell? Uh. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? Oh shit, they give you like different color variations? Oh? Uh. Wow! Cool. If you remove the shoulders, you get a wolf pet. What? Huh? Well, well, friend of the Grammels. Oh, fur. Oh, like Duritan. Oh, that's cool. You're very spiky. <laughs> zug zug. Like Frau from Battle for Azeroth. Wow. His dad did it first, though, in Draenor. Oh, I wow. have just the thing, Wanderer. Spalders, spalders, spalders. Okay, uh, hang on. So you're telling me that if I remove the shoulders, yeah, I will get a pelt. Oh. Ooh. Good fortune to all friends of the Grummels. Cool. Oh yeah. Ah, that's definitely cool. Ha. Huh. Yeah. I um I'd be hard pressed to see them add even more characters to this whole celebration. Um, I think one or two have been missing amongst all the orcs, but still, this, uh, yeah, this was phenomenal. I loved it. And it definitely spoke Lotar. to the honor and spirit of the horde Strength. and the orcs in general, I suppose. There's definitely, uh, like, I remember people wondering, like, what the hell has happened to what the horde? What do you need? Um, Go with honor. Especially with the direction of the storytelling. Um, like, like very much the identity of the horde slash the orcs is dependent on what kind of war chief they have. So if you put somebody like Garrosh in charge, you'll have the more attacky horde of old. A Vral is one more towards peace and trying to work together. Um, and then the part about having Sylvanas as war chief, that's where it actually went all to tits, I suppose. That was, that was just, yeah. That was interesting. Um, but like I said, all in all, fantastic. Did I see the Shadow Moon Clan? I did. Did Garrosh crash the party? No, Garrosh has been disenchanted. Um, Garrosh is not even anima anymore. And there are a couple of what dialogues. You me? Yeah. There are a couple of dialogues that are different, apparently, if you don't like, um... Blood and thunder. God, what was it? Maldrexus? You would have something different? Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. I mean, yeah, he has, though. Same, like, Varian. Both of them have been... Yeah. 